How's it going guys? Hope you all are doing great. This is Evlog coming to you live and welcome back on another episode on Attack on Titan Season 4 episode 25 number 84. Now, towards the ending of the previous episode, we saw Levi. Levi is back. It doesn't look too good, but he will survive because you know what? He's a fighter. And not just that, he is an Ackman. And it looks like him and the Marilyns have a common goal because Levi still has a bone to pick with Zeke. His fight with Zeke is not over yet. So without further ado, let's check out the next episode and see what took place. I believe me speak. <laughs> yeah, me speak grabbed Jin on the last episode. Looks like Mikasa has made up her mind to stop eating. Good question. Watch this. Are you guys listening to this? Are you guys reading this? Hmm.
This is a very difficult, difficult situation to fathom because Jenny is looking at this and mm. Mm. we didn't get the intro today. By now, I I'm expecting the intro to come up, rumbling. Rumbling, it's coming, rumbling, rumbling. <laughs> exactly, exactly. What? Do to Tokota. That is a good question Annie is asking them.
Oh, don't get into it. If she transforms, it's going to be a bad news bearer, Mikasa. This is so tough. This is so hard for Big Essa. This is, I can just imagine how she feels. Oh, he knows. Interesting. So she used to be a Maryland. I think we should. Let's take a quick look into the past. We should take a look into the past.
Yep. Yep. She was. Indeed. <laughs> I think she's trying to touch it. <laughs> yeah. Maybe she should be quiet now because I think Jane is not going to like this. Mm. Are you guys seeing the significance of what they are trying to show us here? Sui Sui Did you guys see that he hit Raina in the groin?
Levi, baby. <laughs> this man wakes up and says, You guys are too loud. I guess he heard all the conversation, all the commotion. He heard everything. And I wonder what his perspective is about all of this. What he has to say about all of this. The Yeagers are now at large. Is that woman the one controlling them now? Hmm. There you have it, guys. Another interesting episode. An attack on Titan. I believe what this episode is trying to let us know, it's trying to teach us something. And I, I think I'm not the only one that picked that up. I'm sure that you guys, or most of you guys, picked up the lesson that this episode is trying to teach us. Now, it doesn't matter which sides you're on. At the end of the day, both sides has done evil things. Both sides has committed atrocities. And the chances of this conversation ever happening, very rare because the animosity on both sides is so strong that seeing this, watching the Marlin and the Paradise Island people coming together to have a conversation around the fire and they ate food that a Paradise Island person made. They all ate it. And both teams slept close to each other without watching each other, without, you know, sleeping with one eye open. Sweet! Hmm. Next. Traitor. Unagi Nimoro. Next time, episode 80, number 8 episode or number 85 will be Una Nigimoro. Now, on the next episode, the Paradise Island people are going to be fighting against their own people, which is so bizarre, which is going to be so weird to fight them with the same people the same faces you've seen grieve, wept, cried, in despair, right? The same people you fought alongside with fighting titans, taking titans down, 
trying to survive, not knowing if you're going to see the next second. Now, after all these years, now you're going to stand against those people, the same faces. You know their loved ones. You know how much they've lost. You know that they want revenge on what happened to their people. And you know what their, what their revenge can do for them. And you're going to stand in their way. It's going to be this episode, uh, this show, the last arc of, on this show. It's, um, it's heavy. It's very heavy. It's a heavy concept. You know? I didn't know that Yellen was born in Maryland. Now we just found out that she was actually, you know. Yeah, she was born in Maryland, if I'm not mistaken. And the Maryland were saying that they said the Paris Island people, the LDR, were the first to attack. 2,000 years ago. 2,000 years ago, they were the first to attack them. So they never forgot about that. Right? They never forgot about that. But my question is when they, you know, what it, what concept, what kind of concept or paradigm happened when the Eldia attacked them? Did they enslave them? I don't think so. Were they enslaved? Because I saw when the king asked Ymir, to, he used Ymir's titan to attack the Marylands. But they didn't enslave them. They didn't attack them to wipe them out. I don't think so. If I miss, if I misspoke, feel free to color, feel free to correct me on the comment box. And now, two thousand years later, um, the Marylands has decided to return the favor to uh, to wipe out, wipe out the Paradise Island people. I guess Zeke wanted to stop the. Founding Titan Ymir or stop Ymir's uh, ability to stop the war because once that is stopped, all these Titans will be gone. Like, you know, the world will live in peace or there won't be that much animosity anymore because even if they were going to fight each other, they will fight in an equal terms. Right? But where this, I've, I'm, I'm a little conflicted with the reason why Marilyn is attacking the Paradise Island people or decided to wipe them out is, is the fact that while they were attacking the Paradise Island people, they were also attacking other nations. And I believe those other nations didn't do anything to them. Those other nations are not any subject of Ymir in any way, shape or form. At least if it, if it is to give them the reason to kill other nations, to attack them, subjugate them, use their resources to continue funding their war, uh, to countlessly attack the Paradise Island people. That's where I have an issue with. That's what I have an issue with. And because of doing that, I mean, how can other nations fight them when they have all these titans, they have Warhammer Titans, they have the Kurt Titan, they have the Beast Titan, they have Colossal Titan, they have the Armor Titan. Which nation which could ever stand a chance fighting them? So they were taking everyone down one by one, two by two, with no one to stop them. It's only when they got to Paradise Island people that the Paradise Island people has the will to hold them back this long. I mean, thanks to Aiden's Titan, the fighting, the founding Titan. Thanks to Aiden's, uh, take you know, because if if it wasn't for his Titan, the Paradise Island people would have been gone long ago. So in actuality, I don't see any different. I don't see any difference what Aiden is doing, and what the Paradise Island and what the Maryland have done in the past and are still doing. That's all I got to say. I don't see any difference. There's not, there, is, there is absolutely no difference here. Because the Marylands were also committing genocide themselves. We got a, a little look of it on the first part of season four. 
And again, if you ask, how come? Well, ask yourself this question. Why do you think we didn't see the Warhammer? We didn't see the Beast Titan until season three. We didn't see uh, the Kurt Titan until season four. Because they were busy doing something. They were busy fighting other nations who didn't do anything to the who, who didn't who did who has no who who isn't who shouldn't be brought into this war they were fighting other nations who were innocent from my from where i am sitting you know and i guess doing all of that has resulted to this because Aiden has figured out if those other nations sided with the uh the Maryland, giving them their resource helping them to continuously decimate his people well when it comes to judgment day uh those countries as well would also be judged that's pretty much it they will also partake uh, in the judgment when the judgment comes so it's such a situation where and again this episode is trying to show us that both the paradise island people and the marylands None of them are innocent. They've done many, they have, they've done horrible things to each other. And, you know, because if, the, if what Aiden is doing didn't happen, the world will not see the need to really look at what is more important. What matters the most, right? If it wasn't what Aiden is doing, if it wasn't the fact he ha he has decided to do this, the Marlins would never ever ever imagine would never ever come to terms to kind of look inward to what they are doing. The Paradise Island people, on the other hand, they actually you know they don't want this war. To have, they don't want genocide in any way, shape, or form. They don't want it. I guess they care. They have that heart of care inside them. Because if the table was turned, we already know what the answer would have been. Right? But at the same time, that doesn't mean that the Paradise Island people are innocent. They've done things as well. And judging from what the Marilyn said, the Paradise Island people were the one that started it. <sighs> Such a heavy, 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 heavy situation. But I will digress it here. Next week, we're going to see another heavy episode because now, now that uh, Mikasa, Jane, Connie, Amin, Levi, Haji have decided to fight Aiden, to try to stop Aiden from committing, committing this genocide, the Yeagers themselves see what Aiden is doing as a success situation they see what Aiden is doing as the best thing that will ever happen to Paradise Island people and they're supporting Aiden so now the team are going to be fighting their own people the people they saw their loved ones die in, by the hands of the Maryland's you know it's another heavy like the mental state of this or the mental uh, 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 the mental let me say the mental uh, 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 just like uh, the mental uh, state of the situation and the psychological the psychology with all of this, it's going to be messed up. It's going to be messed up because we saw the faces of what's his name. You see the faces of the Paradise Island people who have turned against their own, Tony and Amin. You see their face like the psychological trauma and effect that this will bring it's heavy it's very very heavy anyways on that note stay safe keep on keeping on